Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hames. I'm uh, actually here at Sycamore Middle School. I came in to do some work this morning to get ready for whatever the fall holds. And uh, there was something really cool outside of our uh, Dean and Athletic Director, Mr. Drennan's window. Let's go see if we can try to catch it. Not really sure about this. I used to have nightmares about these as a kid, so we're gonna kind of see how this goes. There we go. I don't want to hurt him, is the, the thing. Or her. I'm not really sure. I don't know much about praying mantises, but we're gonna learn about them today. There we go. There it is. super unique looking insects. In fact, it looks like something out of a horror movie or something we might have nightmares about. But let me just start by saying this. Praying mantises, they are, they are harmless to humans, okay? They have no venom. Uh, their bites would not hurt or hurt us. Uh, they don't even carry infectious diseases. Praying mantis are really unique looking insects in that uh, he's looking at me right now uh, with these very uh, large uh, bulging eyes triangular head and then as we follow that down there's kind of a flexible neck and then a elongated uh, kind of body. Uh, out from that we see a pair of six legs. What's unique about a praying mantis is that they have these really large forelegs. So uh, these forelegs is what gives the mantis the ability to be the voracious predator that it is and reach out uh, grab things, pull food to the mouth, and uh, this is how it uh, traps, brings its prey to their doom. Take a look at the colors on this mantis's body. It's brown with some, uh, some green lines along the wings on the back side there looks just like a leaf, a stick, mulch, and brush. So if this praying mantis wasn't on a black table right now and was maybe instead in its natural habitat, it would be perfectly camouflaged. It would be really hard to make out or see. I tried to learn about this one by putting it on the stereoscope right, right there. This particular praying mantis was not having it. It kept crawling off and crawling up and towards my face and I was not cool with that. Uh, so instead I just tried to get some good pictures of this one on camera. I had it in a fish tank moments ago and it didn't really do anything. I filmed it for almost 10-15 minutes and it just kind of stayed in one place. Uh, when I took it out I tried to measure it uh, with a meter stick and a ruler and it came out to be about uh, 10 and a half or 11 centimeters, which comes to be about four inches. Uh, that's about max size that praying mantises appear to get. Some other facts, their lifespan is about one year. Praying mantis uh, has a very bizarre mating ritual. Sometimes a female will actually consume or eat the male while mating. And yes, there is some uh, footage and documentation of female mantises doing this to their male partners. Yeah, that's something. But all in all, these guys don't wanna hurt us. They are out there just to catch small crickets and bugs that are in our backyards and nearby forests and grasslands around here. Praying mantises are all over the world. 
you'll see them that, that, that might look like this. You might see them full green. There's actually 2,400 mantis species in the world. There you have it. If you're interested in knowing more, hop on Google and start researching a little bit more about praying mantises. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to let this one go free. Hey everybody, Mr. Hames here. Thanks for watching my video on the praying mantis. I'm just making videos gearing up for what is going to probably be the weirdest school year any of us has ever experienced. And I know that none of us are truly 100% happy about what this school year will bring. I promise you, I, like many teachers, are gonna work hard to bring the instruction to you in an interesting and fun way through the screen. So if you wanna see the other videos I've been working on this summer, you can click right here and watch the video on Comet Neowise I made. And of course, to see the videos to come, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I look forward to a good year. We're gonna make it a good year. Stay positive, folks. See ya.